Welcome back everybody. Today I'm with Dalmont and we are here to take a look at this ship. It is the Milano from Guardians of the Galaxy. I just finished the exterior and the interior systems are going in now, which means that it will be up for download shortly. And this this is definitely one of the more complicated things I have ever had the misfortune to try and attempt, but Man, was it worth it. Mm. I love your interpretation of the lines on the ship and then the choice of colors. I haven't seen the movie yet. I'm going to see it uh, later today. But um, uh, from what I remember <laughs> in what I have seen in promos and whatnot, this looks pretty spot on. I mean, obviously, you've got to deal with the fact that you know, we are curves. Yeah, we're low poly. That's what I like to describe it as. Low poly. Yeah, I, I wish I could take this thing through mesh smooth a few times in the nutshell. <laughs> yeah. But hey, you know, you 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 work with what you got. And uh, yeah, I have I have a surprising amount of room in here, so this thing is actually going to be very powerful. Uh, and I'm also going to be adding on the uh, weapons as cannon as I can get them to the actual ship. Which, in a nutshell, is uh, yellow machine guns. <laughs> nice. Spoilers. Let's get underneath it. I'm, I'm just looking over it and just seeing a few more exterior tweaks that need done. But yeah, not too bad, I hope. Beautiful. What's the uh, choice of color? Is that the actual color? Yep, that's the actual ship. For the uh, for the engines, I mean. For the engines, yeah. Uh, really? Wait till you see the movie; you'll understand. <laughs> green and purple, I like it. Yeah, and I, it actually—that's um, my favorite feature. I actually managed to make it look as close to uh, the in, you know, in cinema one as I as I could, and it actually came out looking uh, fairly proper. Is there a door? There is, actually, and uh, in the fashion of my ships, uh, as is tradition, the door is hidden, although the door is in the show cannon position. So, right down under here. I have to be extra careful since we're not in... Uh... Watch out for dem collisions. Yeah, right? <laughs> I don't want to fry my core up. So you can head on in here and pop your gravity on. Ooh. Yep. Alright, welcome aboard. You'll notice I've already got the new blocks in. Oh, I've decided to take the lighting effects kind of to the next level in here. Twinkly. So if we come up here, the first place I'm going to take you is core access, which is over this way. So obviously not a show cannon room in the ship, uh, but necessary for our purposes. Okay. Um, and we're going to come over here to ship access and we'll head up and start out in the cargo bay. Gotta close our little airlock there, there we go. So we've got our cargo bay, a uh, few flex storages, all that good stuff. I'll head up here, I like to, and then all the way up here, and now we are on the main floor. Yep. All right, this is the main floor. Um, we'll head up to the bridge in a bit, but uh, if you come back up here, we have our little, uh, observation window which apparently is actually in the ship I didn't know that until I started looking at some schematics but apparently this is here okay. I don't remember it but it's here and it looks cool so <laughs> there it is I can't complain so trying to do a little bit of asymmetry in here really 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 liking the new blocks like a lot <laughs> got some functioning computers all that good stuff, logic is going to be implemented in these areas uh, to control various ship functions, all that good stuff. And then we'll head down here, some more on the first floor. Um, See so now Tom, this this is meta right here mm -hmm. that you're going to understand tomorrow. But mm -hmm. if you've seen the movie, anybody watching, is, if you've seen it, you'll understand. The Awesome Mix Volume 2 is playing. See, when you, when you see it, um, when you see it in theaters, Tom, here's what you're going to do. You're going you're gonna to see this. You're going to understand why I put it here, and you're going to scream like a little girl. <laughs> okay, I can't wait. All right, so we head over here, and uh, we're in the, the bedroom, man cave, if you will. 
uh, and we can use use this here to activate the sleep system and then of course find our way onto the bed <laughs> activate sleep system hang on face up <coughs> got it screenshot done <laughs> perfect hey. and then we're back on the ground because heck yeah so that's pretty much that um you'll also I, I will spoil this for you a little bit i won't spoil it i, I mean uh you'll understand the tree there's a reason for that okay. anyway okay i was so, looking at the tree a minute ago yeah <laughs> so the last place um in the inside of the ship here is the bridge Welcome this back. is well, this is as close as I could get the bridge within the scale of the ship. Um, I tried really hard to get it right, but it was incredibly difficult. Um, tried to kind of create the same feel of um, openness and uh, and uh, advanced advancedness, if you will. Yeah. That they had poor choice of words, I understand, but it's really, really a very clean ship. I right. tried to kind of replicate that with the bridge and the, some of the white lighting and stuff, but uh, actually a surprisingly good view for all the, the fiddly bits that I put on there. I see place for modification. I'm always, always finding the things that need to be fixed, but that's pretty much the extent of the interior for the moment. Um, Maybe adding a few more details here and there, uh, just as time progresses. Um, I know we got our little medical cabinets over here, which I wish functioned as like mini flex storages. But yeah, so that is Milano in a nutshell. I love it. It's a beauty. Coming to a star made dock near you. So there it is, everybody. Dalmont's Milano from Guardians of the Galaxy. Thanks for watching. See you next time.